good morning guys welcome to today's video so he's walking slow in front of me um today is gonna be a crazy day it's gonna be a weird day it's gonna be something i don't know if we've ever done before we probably have today is gonna be a mashup day a mashup day you know what a mashup day is a mashup day is where we don't brush our hair we wear stitch i love that shirt so much it looks so cute so uh basically why are we mashing today up Get off the couch. Uh, because we want to eat mashed potatoes, so we're mashing it up so that we can eat. I, I hate potatoes. All right, so basically Sam and I are going to visit family, Sam's family. There's some stuff going on in his family. And so we're going to go and see them. And the girls don't want to go, so the girls are staying home. And so we're probably not going to end up vlogging. And it's a good thing, because my hair did not turn out very well today. But anyway... We're going to leave the camera home and we're not going to video today, but we do have stuff or we're not going to video much today, but we do have stuff we want to show you stuff that's been like happening over the last few days that we really haven't got a chance to show because we've had so much footage and not enough time and not enough room for it all. So uh, there's some stuff last night that I didn't put in the vlog. Yes, you're my girl. Yeah, you are. And we're going to show you that. And I have two dogs. <laughs> so they got both. Gabby's still sleeping. Gabby, yeah. that's what happens when you hit teenagehood, you guys. Life ends. And then finally one day you come back into it. Right? But uh, get off the couch. Watch. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so uh, let's get on with it. I'm going to show you guys what happened last night, and then uh, we'll figure the rest out as we go, as I head up this thing. Wait, what, what happened other last night? I have? Well, I didn't get to show them, like, about Penny and Stella, and just a bunch of little things about Gabby and learning, and just some stuff I didn't get to show. So I'm going to show that now, and then we'll be back after we visit Sam's family, and we'll see you guys then. Come on, you crazy little peppy. She sees that Sam just got home. Good girl. Good girl. I'm going to close her in. Because I do not want you running. Children's size gloves. I can fit into children's size gloves because my crooked finger. I hate to break it to you, Gabby, but you're a child. <laughs> no. You are. All right. So, any gloves. Oh, look. We got straps. So... I sometimes cut blankets and keep all like the extra pieces. Gabby, these are all the children's gloves that I have, love. And so I have blanket straps, which I need for Storm's blanket. Replacement parts. I also see we've got some necks up there. They're size gloves and they're not warm. I know, well all the warm gloves are at the house. Remember the gray gloves? No. That um that were the riding gloves that you gave to that little guy. Yeah, that have burgundy purple around them. It's pink. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, know what color I just ruined is. a life, you guys. Why is this color right here. Mm, I think it's purple. No. I, all right, now the bet is on. Where are those gloves? Let me see. I suspect that the cat has been making his home on this little couch here. I can tell. Wow, well, look at my bright. Set. Daisy's like, whoa, a couch for me. My with a warm blanket. Vibrating. I'm like, what? It's your dad. He's saying, I'm here. I brought supper. What did you bring for supper? Burgers. Gabby's, Gabby said, oh, I'm stuck doing torture. So I wanted her to like straighten up, up all these saddle pads because they are a mess. And I want to preserve them and keep them safe and good because we love them. So uh, to be honest, I think the only blanket I have oh, to buy. Saddle pad that we forgot. <laughs> your blue one? Too. One right there, one right there. Right. Oh, my fingers numb. You're going to take it to the, to the... No. I don't have a shirt to match it. So I don't know exactly what you're doing there, Missy. I see what you told me. Make them in a nice pile. I'm not going to lie. It's so much easier to... That was kind of fun. So much easier just to buy new blankets than it is to figure out the old blankets. Oh, put them in a pile quickly. Storm's getting this blue blanket, and I think all I have to fix is, is just this. It's heavy. So I'm going to have to get it cleaned. I'll get it cleaned, and I'll sew that. I'll get it repaired, because I think this is the one that he's going to have to have this winter. Or I have this one, but it's like a lightweight. It's not very warm. Oh my gosh, we don't remember. All I know is we paid $100 for this blanket that completely faded in the sun. 
and did not wear very well. But it's wool on the inside. I didn't even know. Yeah. No. So Gabby's just pointing out like we have so many things that I'm we were forced to buy. To like that thin line pad was a lot of money. And we were forced to buy it to try it with our horse. And she wore it twice. And then it turned out to be like the wrong thing that we did not need. That's the thing with horses. Like, we did not need this at all. You know, like, get it, get it. And I'm like, no, I even wrote like an essay on why we don't need it. Yeah. My mom still did not listen to me. Um, yeah. It turned out, oh, we don't need it. Yeah. It's hard though, like when you have a lot of people helping he you with your also horses. Need this one either. Yeah, so we he just had an allergic reaction or something. So when we first so bought the store, by yeah, that was an expensive one too. <laughs> like all these things, because this saddle pad has sheepskin, like yes, the real sheepskin, in the top of it. Because he had bumps on his back, but they were just turned out to be an allergic reaction, which went away by himself. Yeah. Before you buy stuff for your horse, taking a minute to think about it and if you really need it, and let the problem I did not write figure itself that out. One. The only person I think that needs a blanket this year is Willow because hers always causes rubs. So I have to get that. I just got to figure out what size hers is. Willow's is a 44. So we need like a 46 at least. Okay. I still, oh, I don't even know which one of these blankets is pennies. Do you guys remember? Like this used to be. Where's Penny's blanket? Is this Penny's blanket? All right, enough with the blanket situation. It's stressing me out. I don't even know. I hate handling dirty stuff. All right, so Gabby's doing a new class. A couple things before we go back down to the barn. Gabby's doing a new class, and it's like a learning strategy class. Uh, she's sitting at 80% in her math class, which is advanced math, grade 9. That is a homeschool learned kid, you guys. But anyways, what did we learn in your class today? It was really cool. I'm doing school. She's doing school. Shut up, mom. So uh, basically, uh, what happened is she had to do like these. It made her, oh, it made her do these, these tasks. She had to build 3D stars and something else. 3D stars, anyways. She it made her build these 3D stars, and she had to build one visually by watching them do it and then copying it. She had to build one by listening to instructions, and she had to do one by like can um by being by doing it physically i don't know she anyways the three different types of learning learning styles and she learned that she is a visual learner which is super cool and what you guys might not know is that school is designed to teach visually and by hearing and hearing i think is the one she did the least well hearing is the one you did the least well yes yeah, she still, she does all of them, all of them well, but she visually learns the best. If you're not a visual learner or you don't learn by hearing, then you're not a good candidate for school because that's, those are the only two ways that school teaches. And that was my whole reason for explaining to you guys long ago that everybody learns differently and just because you don't do well in school doesn't mean that you're not smart. It just means that you don't learn in the way that the school is designed to teach. Some people learn the third way, which is me and which is Sophia. Although I did do well in school, I just had to study, study, study. But if you're a vis if you are a, if you learn by seeing, then it's things are so much easier for you because you just see it and learn it. I cannot see and learn. I have like some kind of brain damage about that. I cannot do it. But anyway, that's super cool. I want to show you one more thing. So the second thing that I wanted to show you guys was I had this picture frame for a really long time now and Molly wants to smell it. And um, I always dreamed that I put my picture of Stella in here. And so Sophie got a new printer and I was able to print off the picture. It's not very good because it has like a little bit of a border on it. But I was able to put my picture, my favorite picture ever of my Miss Stella. And so then I decided I'd print a picture of my Miss Penny and put it in there too. So I printed that one. And then I printed this one. And don't you guys think they look so similar? Like they both have four white legs. And they both have white up around their necks and a black bum. 
and black on their chest and then a black face. Mom. Slightly different, obviously, like totally different markings. And it, but it just seems so crazy that it, we ended up with two amazing black and white paint mares that look so similar. It just makes me feel blessed and amazing and having them now in my picture frame together side by side. See my picture frame has horses on it. I love it. Anyway, it just made me really happy and really like thankful to have the picture frame and to be able to print pictures of them together and put them together in one place because in my heart they, oops, because in my heart they are both together and yeah so I just wanted to share that with you guys because anybody who's lost a horse before you guys know. So uh, we are back from uh, Sam's family. It is a little bit late. It was a gorgeous day outside today. Oh my god. Honestly, you're freaking kidding me. Oh man. Why can't anything just be simple? So basically, I want to tell you guys this. I'm allowed to ride a penny outside now. I'm allowed to ride her going up hills and down hills. So it'll be the same. Like I ride, come on. I ride over. So it'll be me. Hey, come on. So I will walk her two times a week up hills, down hills, and over poles. To strengthen her suspensory ligament, it means pushing off. So I'll be doing that. And then. So, but at least I'll be able to ride outside now, which is my dream. And so, I, that's what I was going to do with Penny right now. I was going to practice. I was going to show her where the plan is. Like, I have a route planned out. And then this happens. Yeah. Can you guys see it? It doesn't look, oh my gosh. Everybody's going to have to come down. It's everywhere on all of them. What were you guys thinking? She's like, we weren't thinking. Hi. So I have to clean her before I can do that because I feel bad taking her out there dirty. No side is better than the other. Like, it's pure mud. Face, body, all the way down, up on her back. Like, we had two days of torrential rainfall and now the whole horse. I'm gonna have to, like, you guys, you can't even tell how bad it is in the camera. I'm gonna clean her and then I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do. Because what I'm really excited about is, um, oh, because I really wanna ride her outside tomorrow. I want tomorrow to be the day that I ride her, so I really wanna have an opportunity to show her where we're gonna go tomorrow. But first, clean. All right, so you guys might not be able to tell that she's brushed. Oh, actually, I forgot to pick her. There is as much dirt on me as there is on Penny, as there was on Penny. Still not all the way off. It's awful. Anyway, I'm going to get ready, pick her feet, and put a rope halter on. And we're going to go for a walk. I'm going to show you our new training tool. I'm going to take you guys on the path. We're going to walk down here and then up this hill. And this is where I'm going to ride tomorrow. But I can't video it because nobody's here to help me. And Penny is misbehaving because I don't have two hands to control her. All right, I didn't do it. I'm so frustrated with myself because I didn't have anybody to help me and she was misbehaving, which is fine, but the dogs were running, which I want the dogs to run because I want her to get used to that and be okay with that. But I don't wanna be by myself when I do it with the dogs running because in the past she's like acted crazy. Look at all the dirt. That's from Penny. Anyways, yeah, I failed. I failed because of fear. And I'm frustrated and mad at myself, but it's okay because I will still do it. I will still do it. I just need to go up there and tell them that I need help and then I'll do it. But maybe not today because they have to go and do some other stuff. But yeah, I failed you guys and I'm frustrated. Hi hey guys, we're at the barn. We're here to check on the boys. Take their blankets off because the next couple of days will be nice. And, and the rain has stopped until yeah, probably yeah. Saturday. Yeah, Saturday I think it's going to rain. And then hopefully Sunday for the show it's not going to rain. It's going to gonna rain for your show. Like licorice. Like Let's licorice? Show is this week. Why are you doing it now? No. Who's doing it? Me. Just Sophie? You're not doing it? I'm thin. I think it looks good. You take your blankie off. You like the licorice? 
Pacino likes licorice. No, he doesn't like licorice. Let's take that out. Eat it. Oops, Maggie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, doesn't like it. I got his blankie. You got another piece? Okay, wait a second. Don't give it to him yet. You don't have any more? No. Oh. Well, it looks like you have no ribs. No ribs so far. Blanket's good. Okay. Does this one have uh, clips in the front? Good. I like that one. I don't like the straps. That you gonna eat that now? He doesn't know. He doesn't like it. Oh, he likes it. No. Yeah. He's eating it. Oh, he's eating it. Hey, Finny. Alright, he didn't watch your camera. Hey, Finny. Hey, Finn. What's up? I don't have nothing for you. No more treats for you. Okay, is he all sweaty from today? You can no. see where his winter coat's starting. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> eh? His winter coat. Alright, we took your blanket off for a couple days. Well, that's it. We just checked on them and took the blankets off. Gave him some licorice. Finny gobbled his all up. The Chino was a little bit. Chino really didn't like it, but he ate it. So that's it. Now we're gonna go home and do chores for the girls. Feed them and give them hay. You're backing up. Yeah. You're backing up, and we're gonna drive. All right. I, I heard the giggles outside. Welcome to this extra season. special haunted journey. Come on. <laughs> Am I too close or not? Anytime now, we're going to be on our way. Stop. Anytime. She has her AirPods in. So? No driving with AirPods. <gasps> it got dark. Oh my god. Whoa! <laughs> I just turned off. I think it's on. Oh, I don't want to go into that ditch. <gasps> We're going into a ditch. Oh my god! Let's get going here, man. Let's get going. I'm going. Okay. Go. Oh, ah. Hang on. We're in a ditch. Turn, turn, turn. No, cause we're gonna go in the freaking ditch. <sighs> She's gonna kill us. Don't put us in the ditch. Okay. We are in a Don't ditch. Don't put us in the ditch. See, we went in the ditch. <laughs> This is scary, guys. This is scary. You're scary. And now we're gonna go into the puddle. What was that? A puddle! A puddle! Oh my god, it's a puddle! Oh Watch my god, the puddle. he keeps going in the middle of the go puddle. Go slow, go slow. Oh. Okay. Oh, holy jeez. <laughs> Here we go. Did she even turn the lights on? I don't know. No, I did not. Did she even turn the lights on? How are we gonna see where we're going? Because we don't need the friggin' lights. I did not move the seat far enough forward. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm dying here of heat. Gabby had to eat on the front seat. Just dying. Alright. How are we doing? Doing great. There's a tractor. We did not run into the tractor. We're gonna run into the garbage. No, we won't. Oh, you guys gotta help me with something when we get out of the car. What is it? Get all the stuff I got from Benono's house. Oh, sure. I'll, I'll carry the chocolates. Oh my gosh. Could have. It went farther up, you know. Well, you could crash in the garbage. No, we're in the garbage far. Can. We're far away. It's gonna crash in the garbage can. Watch out. We are far away. Oh no. Dad. There we go. You should have been out the road. We are far ah. away. Dad, behind you in the video. What's behind me? What's behind me? Grass. Behind you in the video. <laughs> so far in the back. You should put it's a good. Those. It's good. Okay, I thought I lost a couple lives there. I think my beard got whiter. <laughs> I went slow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?